What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about MongoDB joins and MongoDB lookup. And ironically, I'm gonna be teaching you why you should not be using lookup, why you should not be doing joins in MongoDB. It's kind of like a uh, like defense against the dark arts. Like I'm gonna teach you how to do it, but I'm also gonna be like, you you don't want to do this. So sometimes you do like it in some, and there are certain cases where you have to do a lookup, but in MongoDB, a lot of times the data is not going to be, most of the time the data is not going to be stored in different tables. And let me just kind of give you like a real example. So if you look here in our sample, I've, I've actually made like a sample database. If you notice like this and images, if you came from the world of SQL, this would be in a different table, but it's not. And that's kind of like the whole idea of MongoDB is that all of this is going to be stored in one document. <clears throat> that's the power of MongoDB. And it's also kind of the drawback of MongoDB is that because this data is not uh, normalized, denormalized, it is going to be stored on one document and this can create very complex data types. And that's the reason, it's the reason we use MongoDB and it's also the reason we don't use MongoDB. If you need your data very structured, you use SQL, but if you don't, you, or if you have very complex like social media or you have very complex data types, you use MongoDB for this purpose. And that's the reason I tell people like, if you're doing lookups too much, you're not you, you have to get out of sql land and you need to get into mongodb land and there are certain scenarios there there just is certain scenarios where you will need to see data that has uh been referenced and we talked about the difference between embedding and referencing and if you don't know we'll just i'll just give you a really quick and i'm hoping you do know because if you're already this far in the course you really really need to know the difference between embedding and referencing data. So if you embed data, like it kind of just sounds the way it is. You're embed the data is going to be baked right into the data or the, uh, the entity, the, uh, document, whatever you want to call it. The, if you look here, this is an embedded data type. There actually is, I'm trying to see here there. I don't think that there is one. I had to, I actually had to make one simply because you, like I said, you don't want to, um, actually do this. So here, let me see. Actually, that's not, that's not a good one. So here is an example of a reference type. This accounts account is being referenced as a number for a different account. And that is a reference type. Pretty simple to understand. So with the lookup, that's how we're going to do our join. And there is no, um, there's two ways to do this. So if you do come from the world of SQL and you're using 3T, um, most of the time in production environments, you're going to use 3T. Here's the e probably the easiest way. If you just don't even want to learn lookup and you just want to be like, you know, I want to go back to SQL world and I don't want, you know, I want to put my head in the sand and I want to live in SQL world. Totally okay. And I totally, I totally get that. You can click right here. And you can actually do a very quick join in 3T. So if you don't even want to watch the rest of the video and you just want to stay in SQL world, you can and you don't even need to learn lookup. But if you're coming from uh, Compass or you're you know using the command line in order to do MongoDB queries, you're going to have to use the lookup. And I'll explain the infamous lookup. So why don't you use lookup? You don't use lookup because lookup is expansive. Even if you index, even if you create indexes, um, it's still going to be incredibly expensive. And if you are actually, if you're doing this on the command line, that's one thing. But if you're doing in this in an actual app, I, I would not recommend that. So here's what's going to happen with lookup this is going to be our local table. And I'm gonna try and show you what to focus on and what not to focus on. So focus on this part. This is what's actually going to do the command. And we also need, this is what's going to be referred to as the local. This is local. This is actually what you're trying to pull from. This is what you're trying to join to. 
this is the actual data structure that's going to be spit out to a certain extent. So just remember, whenever you see this right here in the lookup, this is what the actual the table that's actually or the actual entity, the model that's going to be spit out. But because we're doing a join and you come from SQL world, we also need to reference a foreign table. So this is going to be foreign. This is going to be the table that you're trying to join off of where they're actually where the join is actually going to happen. This right here is going to be the local field. And re look at this word right here, local. Whenever you see local, this is what it's referring to. It's not referring to the foreign table, it's referring to the local table up here. So we have local local field, I'm sorry. And this is the actual field that you're going to try to join off of. Then we have the foreign field. Remember, key, key thing here. So foreign field is actually going to be referencing this table. So the from is going to be the table. You could just insert, they probably should insert a table right here. And this is the, the as is going to be simply the name that it's going to return. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I've got a nice little notepad in here with some data and we are going to insert some comment data. We're going to insert some post data. So before I insert the comment, let's just go ahead and look at this table so you don't get confused. So this is gonna create a comment collection. It's got a title, it's got a comment, it's got a couple of likes. And what this is going to be referenced off of is more than likely in real life, it's gonna be a one-to-many. In this case, it's a one-to-many too. And all of these posts are going to have comments. Very simple relationship. You will see this all the time in real life. And what it's going to do is it's going to reference from the title. So the title is my first post. And MongoDB is great because you don't have to reference off of strings. You can also, or integers. You can also reference off of strings. So post comment. Then we're gonna go in here. I'll leave this down below in the description of the video and you guys can go ahead and copy it. Just paste it in there if you want to, but you don't have to. If you don't want to, you can just follow along and watch me write the actual statement. So go ahead. Went ahead in here, created this data, just paste, copied and pasted it in there. And then we're gonna go in here and I'm just gonna kind of build this logically for you so that you can see one actually get built. So what I do, first thing, we're going to be referencing what's called the local table. So whenever you dot like this, just remember, that's the local. Then we go in here, we're gonna have aggregate. And I explained what aggregates are and just remember that a lookup is actually an aggregate. It's not, I don't know, it's not something you really need to know, but it helps. So go up here, then we're gonna go ahead, type out our lookup. Remember, dollar sign within the quotes, that is going to be an actual reference to a column. Dollar sign outside the quotes is going to be a command. In this case, lookup is obviously a command. <laughs> Okay, so now I need to go down here. I need to put my extra curly braces up here. Then we're gonna have a from. From is going to be the foreign table. This is the table that we're going to be referencing. And because we want to get our comments, that's what we're going to be referencing. And our table is actually just called regular comment. Then we have a local field. Remember, all of this is, I think this is a snake case. And we want, so the comment, we're gonna go into our comment and this, the local field. So we need to go into our local field and that's gonna be post. So let's go ahead and look at our post. What we want to reference is we want to reference the title. So we're gonna go in here, title. Then we are gonna go down. Then we're gonna to go to foreign field. So the foreign field that we want to reference in the foreign table, just remember foreign table, foreign field, make sure to know the difference. So foreign field, foreign field, let's go comment. And that is the post title. And I think I'm just gonna copy that. So we go in here, go ahead, copy post title. Now we need to know what is the actual name of the table that we're going to reference. It's gonna be comments, great. 
So go here and our our uh, IntelliSense is saying that we should be good to go. There's no errors in here, so let's go ahead and run this. Type error post, oh, I spelled aggregate wrong. Aggregate. Great. And if you look at that, it spits out a nice post and it shows all of our comments for us. And that is pretty much the whole entire idea of lookup. Just remember what I told you. If you're using lookup too much, you're probably not doing things right. Every once in a while, you do need to know lookup and lookup is very expensive. If that's the any, if anything from the video you take away, just remember that. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.